Welcome everyone to another episode of the Autonauts where I try to build the colony around the planet that I recently landed. As you can see right now, there is a slight changes on my forestry and lumbering system and I'm gonna divide into two sections. The first section is just explaining what the difference between the first version of my forestry and lumbering and what is the new implementation that I've been made. And the next section, I kind of like want to do some experiment to test how efficient how, or how fast forestry and the lumbering system that I created to achieve specific goals. So what is the goals? Well, I will talk about it later. But first, we are going to see what the difference between my first implementation, which is which I call it the version one, and with this new one. So let's start. On the right side of my screen, there is a list of my bots, and I also get experimented with the new bots. As you can see, there is another. There is a Berry Boys and Workshop Boys, and just for another info, I have complete the automation for the workshop which create axe, paint and pick and also there's a new item called group gear but I'm not going to talk about that in this video just to make sure that we are going to focus on the forest and lumbering. If we talk about the structure it's quite different. Now the forest kind of like I made it as square right in my previous video it's kind of like uh, the shape is not a square and also I managed to create the storage for three seed stick storage and also the stone storage okay let's go deeper to the bot implementation here as you can see in the chopper right now I kind of like make some changes and there is a new bracket that basically say that repeat until the log storage is full what it means that if the log storage is full then stop any action and I loop in into a 5 second wait so as you can see right now it's kind of like looping every 5 seconds it means that if the storage is full which is right now it will not do anything and everything is just stopped because there is some kind of like a change in the system which basically if chopper didn't do anything which means there is no space to dig it means the digger will not do anything so the cedar also will not do anything and the three seed move will not do anything because there is no seed anywhere in the forest and the stick mover doesn't do anything because the storage is full it's simple yeah that's the chain of the system when there is a lock storage is full when the lock storage is full that's the another question the lock storage is full when plank storage is full and when the plank storage is full when the pole storage is full so basically that's the, the chain here so back again to the chopper i put brackets that say that repeat the action until the log storage is full it means everything is stopped i wish we can add more logic in the until hands empty why because there is some cases that the log storage is full but the bot's hand it's not empty because the axe may be not broken. I wish we can have something like this, like repeat until hands empty or log storage is full. So there's kind of like logic or here in this bracket. And the result of that, as you can see, there's a lot of log scattering around the forest. And let's move to the digger. Yeah, digger basically is the same like the previous one. There's also another one which is the two rechargers here. So if you see my previous video which talk about the high availability bot, you will understand what is the function of the recharger. So the recharger function is basically just to make sure every bot in here is always running. Let's go to the stick mover. I implement the same thing with the stick mover. Stick mover will not do anything, or basically just wait for 5 seconds for indefinite time if the stick storage is full. Let's go to the lumber boys. As you can see, I can like put the lumber boys work inside of the forest before that is in the front. For the log mover, the pole mover, 
and the plank mover, the format of the brain is almost same. The difference is just like the object that they detect. For example, the lock mover will stop if the lock storage is full. Plank mover will stop when the plank storage is full. The pole mover will stop if the pole storage is full. And they can like take the, the things from here to the storage. In this current version, there is no difference in implementation in the pole maker and the plank maker. Yeah, that's it, I think. That's basically what I've done in the version 2 of the forestry and lumbering. But let's come to the another section, which I said before. How do we test the efficiency of this system? Because when it comes to the automation, we need to test if the automation that we done is efficient and effective. So I've been thinking about this idea. So the idea will be like this. I'm gonna stop all of the bots in the forest boy and the lumber boys team. How do you stop it? Basically, I will put something like this and also for the lumber boss like this. So we stop everything and we are going to empty this storage. Okay, I've already emptied the storage and you can see right now. Oh, so high. All of the log is taking up the sky. Right? It is awesome, right? Okay, here's the idea. In order to make all of the tests is consistent, I want to lay out some kind of like foundation or some kind of rules that to make the test is consistent. For example, if I have another version of the forestry and lumbering system that I want to test against the previous one. So the rule kind of like a simple. No bots is allowed in the forest except the bots that have a job to recharge. And then every bots that have interaction with the storage must be placed near the storage. For example, this is the log mover near the log storage, plank mover near the plank storage, pole mover near the pole storage. This is also happens with the cedar, which will have interaction with the storage. Cedar will place in the near storage. For the bots that do the processing, like planks and also poles, it also must be placed near the plank processing and also poles processing. Next is for the job that require tools. They need to be placed in the side of the tools. So the chopper will be placed in the side of the X workbench. The digger will be placed in the side of the crude workbench. And the last thing is, you as a player should not do any manual interaction to your bots. That's the rule. And the last thing is, time will be start when you run all of the bot ads at once. In this case, when you start the forest boys team or the lumber's boys team and also it could be more efficient if you take all of the bots in one team right and do the start but i'm gonna start the time when i start the first team of my bots which is going to be the forest boy then i'm gonna stop the time until the log storage is full which determined by log mover because the log mover will stop when the log storage is more full. So let's start the test.
Okay, I do some mistake. I think I'm gonna stop all of it right now. There is Fate Maker and also X Maker that suddenly out of charge in the middle of the way to the workshop. And that's the cause of the tree is not planting. I can say that the system that I currently have is not successful to run because some of this issue that happening during the creation of the tools. Okay, after there is a little bit of problem in my previous attempt, right now I'm going to start again the task. Three, two, one, start! see on my stopwatch right now my automation for lumbering and uh, forestry it takes 45 minutes 22 seconds to fill the three stack of the lower storage three stack of the plank storage and three stack of the pole storage there is so much improvement that you can make but I think this is the end of the video don't forget to press like button and subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any in my future video all right that's it bye